Hey, Sneaky Nose back, and tonight I've got Silix or Silux 2010 Preview 1. So I've installed it to the hard drive and see how we get going. Yeah, KDE 4.4.3, very good. The one of the new kernels, 2.64, 2.6 anyway. The newer kernel, anyway. System, loads of stuff, installed to USB, KDE Partition Manager. Silex manual, system monitor, lots there. This is the light version, by the way, not the full version. Bulk meter, KB3, love it. Yeah, network, not a lot. And graphics, not too much. It only has three apps here, and there's not um, the usual apps we would use. So, I'll go to the widget bar. We're going to add a couple of widgets. I'm not going to hang on this one too long. It's a really short look at it for you. I'm going to play with it over the next week. So, what do you do if you want a widget? Well, we all know if you use KDE, didn't you? Yeah, drag it over and plop it wherever you want it, basically. I don't really want it now, so I'll move it over. And that's basically all you do. Nothing else. So that's super. What do I do? Oh, we'll have calendar as well. Why not? Give it a go. Super. Drag him over. Up there. So KDE works quite flawlessly, really. And this is an old Celeron as well. Well, not too old, but it's a Celeron. Pretty good. But, yeah. Idiot that I'm old. Tell you what an idiot I am in a bit. Blimey. Oh, shut up. What an idiot I was when I was installing it. Anyway. I'll go to the Sidex menu, or Sidex, whatever you want to call it. And I'll click on English, not too many flags there, but it is the preview. And basically just the menu, really, you can you can learn everything you want to. Based on Debian SID, by the way, with Sidex own stabilisation stuff to make it work properly. Because, you know, sometimes Debian SID was a bit flighty, shall we say, is the word I'm going to use. Bottom bar, clock. Notifications, sound, net, clipboard, shut down, lock screen, IRC for Cilix. nice, 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 nice. Go back then to the menu once more, and I'm going to take you to where I'm going to take you. Right, that's what I'm going to take you here, I remember now. <clears throat> We're going to go down to the Cilix browser. Now, I thought it was going to be one of their own browsers, but at the end of the day, it's Conqueror. Not that I have any problems with Conqueror personally, I rather like it. It's alright, it's been around for years, and I've been around for years, so there we go. Right click on the screen, that's what you get. Back to the menu one more time. What am I going to share? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to share. Desktop processes is what an idiot I was, look. Now, it's not too bad on this salon, really, but when I was installing that, I forgot to make a swap partition. What a woolly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reinstall it and do another longer video a bit later and we'll get, see how we get along. But it runs okay without the swap partition at the moment, to be really honest with you, so no bleeding worries. So anyway, I'll go back to the other browser, which is Conqueror, and we'll see if other stuff works. Okay, so just type in bbc.co.uk. Nice and quick that, wasn't it? Was that quick or was that quick? No, it was quick. I'll go over to news, pages come up really, really nice. Look, super that, isn't it? Super duper. Nice, nice, nice. Porn Band Mobile South Africa. Mm. iPad launch in UK. Oh my god. Fail, 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 fail. Anyway, that's my opinion. Nobody else's. It's probably a good device, but it needs some updating, as we all know. It's not right. No USB for a start. Anyway, I like it on the whole. Sneaky Linux out. See you soon.